So here is everything that came in the kit. I'm actually really impressed with how well they put everything together. So this is the piece that goes inside of the fender. Uh, this is the piece that runs along the outside. Kind of show where that goes. It's gonna go like that more or less. This is the piece that's gonna go into the air box to wrap around. And it comes with all the materials needed to put it together. Uh, this is actually really nice because inside of here they have the template and this template is super useful. You tape it up on there and then it shows you exactly where to drill, exactly where to cut. It just makes your life a whole lot easier. In my case, I have the limited edition, so it comes with this automatic um, antenna. So you're actually gonna wanna remove this one. Uh, I just put a little flathead screwdriver right in there, tapped it a couple times and it loosened up and you literally just twist this one off. So I'm gonna get this removed and then I'm gonna get the template over there mounted up here exactly where it should go. All right, so we got this all lined up very nice. Um, this line is perfectly in line with that body comes across and runs along this top. So that's like the, the stencil, and then I tape that down. So what we're supposed to do is drill there, there, and here. All right, I'm just about ready to cut. I removed the stencil. I have my lines of where I need to cut. So there's the three holes, and if you can see that dot right there, that's where I gotta start the hole saw. I found some instructions online because it didn't come with any. So I'll link these down in the description. All right, so here's how it looks so far. I got the hole. I had to take the grinder and make it just a little bit bigger. So, so far, so good. And there is that. Honestly, I love it. I think it turned out so good. So under here, uh, basically it's just three self-tapping screws that go into the A-frame. Uh, two screws right there. We have the ram head. And then on the inside of here, let me get a little bit of light. On the inside of here, you can see right there, I connected it. I um, went and bought another one of those silver rings to attach it. Then that pipe runs all the way across. So then it comes through here and you're gonna have to cut a hole right here into the side of this fender. Um, this hole right here, I actually just use an angle grinder to do that and then it comes around. You have to move the air box about an inch back. It comes with plates with that. So then you can just kind of shift the whole thing back. And then I just use this uh, gasket sealer and just poured a bunch of that right there. As you can see, I already took it a little bit of mudding and I put it on there and we are all sealed up. Inside of here, uh, there is a little drain hole somewhere in the back over here. I actually filled it, but then we had a bunch of snow and stuff and the snow got into there um, and then the water kind of ran down and started puddling at the bottom of this hose. So what I did was I put a tiny little drain hole uh, right through the the bottom of this hose down here it's small enough where water could get out but so small that water can't really get in unless i was really sitting in water for a long period of time so for the meantime that's going to be more than good um, i'm trying not to show the front end because i have a bit of a surprise right there and don't want to spoil it just yet i just finished that project up and you're going to see that in the next video but Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little breakdown of me putting the snorkel on. Um, I wish I had more footage. My GoPro actually died while I was recording this. So 
it's all shot on my iPhone and then I'm actually finishing up the video as we speak right now on my new GoPro. I finally got myself the new Hero 10. So I'm excited for some even better quality videos. Other than that guys, I appreciate you guys all tuning in and thank you again for all the comments and the questions down below. I really appreciate it. You guys have been in just an awesome community and I just look forward to posting more videos. Hopefully I'll start getting a lot more active in the videos. We'll be off-roading and doing more stuff. So I'm excited and thanks for tuning in. Peace out.